सो हेलो नमस्ते सत श्री अकाल एंड केम छो टू ऑल आर इंग्लिश लर्नर्स टू डेज एपिसोड इज गोइंग टू बी वन ऑफ इट्स काइंड वेर वी विल लर्न सम फैंटेबुलस वर्ड्स इन कॉन्वर्सेशन विद रेगीता एंड शुभी सो लेट्स बिगिन Hi, my name is Negita, and I'm from Indonesia. Hello, I'm Shubhi Shivastava from India. Well, delighted to have you both on the show. So, how are you doing today? Very well, and I'm so excited for today's episode. Same here. I can feel that we will amaze our learner today. Absolutely, we'll surely going to amaze them, Negita. So, you only tell me at what's the longest word in English. Mm, what is it? I don't know. So, in the interest of time, let's just quickly ask this question to our second guest for the day. That should be. So, what's your take on this? I'm also not sure. <laughs> oh come on! I'm sure you know this. Okay, again, just in the interest of time, let me just answer this question for you. So, guys, it. smile i know i know this might sound a bit absurd to you but why i said the longest word in english is smile is because there's a mile between the first and the last letter of the word smile oh. <laughs> there would be some similarities right i think very common similarity is about shaking their heads especially south indians have this habit of shaking their heads while speaking and north indians also nod their head while listening generally to show interest in the conversation and it also gives an expression of yes while agreeing to someone as shubhi has explained to you why indian nod their head while talking in indonesia we also do the same but it's just less frequent and most of the time we nod we nod our head when we want to express that we are listening we're paying attention to what you say so yes carry on continue what you want to say Meanwhile, shaking our head means disagreement. If you don't see the things the same way or you just don't agree with it, you can shake your head. As you know in English, we actually have a lot of ways to say no. For example, I'm afraid of, I don't think. This verbal expression considered more polite, but if you want to be more conversational and Casual, you can just say "nah" while shaking your head. Wow, that was very really common. Uh, but I still think there would be some similarities, right? So, Regita, can you point a few for us? I believe it is music and movies. I personally think that Indian music and Indonesian music share similarities. For example, in here in Indonesia, we have music dangdut. which melody can make us dance in no time isn't it the same with indian music that entertain us in a way making our body moves i love listening to both indian music and indonesian dangdut because i can dance speaking of movies you know movies speaks universal language so in here in indonesia bollywood movies is phenomenal It is very popular because we can relate to the story, and it is super amazing. My favorite movie is still the Three Idiots with the songs "All Is Well." The story is very mind blowing, and and I am really into it. I even have a friend who have watched every single Bollywood movies, so we often talk about Shah Rukh Khan when we met. And you know my recent favorite is Shakuntala Devi. Oh my God, Vidya Balan looks so good in that. <laughs> What's your take on that, Shubhi? Oh, it's a great movie, and every conversation of Indians is so filmy, obviously inspired by the Bollywood. That our day is so incomplete if we don't get to hear any one dialogue. I have few of my favorite dialogues like tension लेने का नहीं देने का. And there is one more dialogue. बड़े बड़े शहरों में ऐसे छोटे छोटे बातें होती रहती हैं. And also there is a dialogue by Amitabh Bachchan. He says about English only. I can talk English. I can walk English because English is a very funny language. 
it's so amazing to know that uh, people of two countries love something that is common and bridges the gap between them okay so let's now just uh, divert our attention from similarities to differences and just to begin with let's have your take on this ragita what do you think are the major differences between the two countries india and indonesia first and foremost is religion and culture well i want to say that most people think indonesia is an islamic country while it is true that we have muslim as the majority but government actually acknowledge other religions including Protestantism, Catholicism, Buddhism, Hinduism, and Confucianism. This diversity we respect and we stand for freedom of worship for everyone in this country. We find it very essential. It is, right? Wow, even I didn't know this. About the language, in Indonesia, we have 700 languages used in daily basis, including dialect and local language. I know it is a lot and you don't have to master it all. You can use Bahasa Indonesia because it is our national language and everyone understands Bahasa Indonesia. Or you can use English. English is still widely spoken by the locals. It is growing now in Indonesia and I hope it will grow better. That's absolutely true and I think English being a widely spoken language is also a common characteristic between the two countries, India and uh, Indonesia. Am I right in saying this, Shubhi? Absolutely. I think being a nation with second most English speakers, Indians love to preserve their culture and they are very much attached towards it. Over the centuries, there has been a significant fusion of cultures between Buddhists, Hindus, Jains, Sikhs, Muslims and various other tribal populations in India. India is the birthplace of Buddhism, Jainism, Hinduism and various other religions. They all are collectively known as Indian religion. And about the languages, oof. The constitution of India has recognized 23 official languages that are spoken in different parts of the country. Besides Sanskrit, they include 21 other modern languages like Assamese, Bodo, Dogri, Bangla, Hindi, Urdu, Maithili, Malayalam, Telugu, Tamil and so many other languages. For sure, I mean, uh, I don't think uh, any country can beat India in terms of the vast religions that are followed here and the multiple languages that are spoken. I even heard that uh, the dialect changes after every 50 miles. Uh, is it true? Absolutely. It is very true that once you travel in India, you will notice that even if the language is same, after every 50 miles, dialect changes. Oh my god, this is so amazing to hear. I mean, I'm totally impressed by what you said. And I should come back to you on this topic, Shubhi. So for time being, let's just have what Regita has to say on this topic. So Regita, what according to you are the major differences between the two countries? You know what is very important for me? It's food. <laughs> really, I love eating and I love going around trying new places to eat. And still, my favorite food for Indonesian food is sambal korek. <laughs> it is super spicy and it is the best company for every meal. And yes, most of Indonesian food has a lot of spices in it. So it can be too hot for you, but don't worry if you don't like spicy food, you can try guduk because guduk is sweet and delicious. You should try it when you visit Indonesia. <laughs> I will definitely as I also love spices. <laughs> so what do you think Shubhi? I do love spicy food. You know, we eat at least five meals a day and at least three of them are main course. We love chai, you know, milk tea. And yes, every Sunday is definitely a Chole Bhature day. We love samosas, pakoras, noodles, spring rolls and paranthas. And yes, everything has a potato in it. So potatoes are love for us. We usually go for weekend drives on highway dhabas, you know, small eateries and enjoy our day like that. That sounds so romantic, huh? <laughs> well, 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 okay, let's just uh, jokes apart. I think our English learners learned a lot about 
both the countries and it was a complete pleasure to have you both on the show so let's just meet soon and i hope our users are going to master the english language by watching your video thank you for being on our show thank you it was great knowing about the similarities and differences between india and indonesia and yes i'm definitely going to try sambal korek if it's available somewhere near my place Yeah, you should try it. And I will also try to make strole basil. Is it how to pronounce it? I hope I pronounce it right. Anyway, it looks very delicious, so I'm going to try it. Thank you for today's discussion. It is really great. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being our viewer. Keep watching our videos. Subscribe to the channel and do not forget to share this video with your friends and family. Till then, keep smiling and keep safe.